we provide a very high level of technical rigor in our work. Providing advice is a large part of our daily work. We use hard data to write and present reports to the policy makers to help them make better informed decisions. I would say that there's actually nowhere else in the civil service that's like the economy service. Uh, you have to use economic research to help policy makers make decisions on a wide range of issues. Not just issues like GDP growth or inflation, but also in areas such as population, housing and inequality. Well, in any given day, I could be looking at economic data from other economies, pouring through international reports or thinking about what China's interest rate uh, cuts mean for us. All of us specialise in different portfolios and this creates synergies when we come together to discuss issues related to the Singapore economy. I think as economists, we disagree a lot. But I think uh, the healthy respect we have for each other and the culture we have built uh, helps ensure that ideas are always challenged. Not for challenging's uh, sake, but really to help improve ideas. The impact of a government's policies might take many years before they are apparent. But what we really try to do is to improve these policies uh, and help ensure that they make the lives of all Singaporeans better. I recently completed a project on hawker food prices. We wanted to look at whether rising rentals translated into higher hawker food prices. And what we found was that hawker food prices were actually more sensitive to the cost of raw materials than rentals. Right now, I'm actually working this rather unique data set which measures parents with their children. So this allows us to examine the issue of social mobility in Singapore. How likely it is that parents of a higher income level end up with higher income kids themselves. And helping the government understand this issue will also help us decide whether more government intervention is needed in order to level the playing field for all Singaporeans. First of all, you, you need to have the basic economic skills to work here. You also need to be analytical and have a questioning mind. As a fresh graduate, you can count on Economist Service to provide you with good training and development opportunities to build up your skills as well as the confidence to embark on your own research work. I've been on a short-term posting to the OECD in Paris and this opportunity has really opened my eyes to the kind of developmental issues that governments around the world are grappling with. In my first year of work, I was actually able to attend an international conference in Frankfurt. The high level of interaction with other economies um, and academics actually allow me to gain a lot of new insights into the Eurozone crisis. We award scholarships at uh, all levels, from undergraduate to postgraduate. Personally, I was uh, fortunate enough to receive a PhD scholarship. Uh, doing a PhD was a life-changing experience. Uh, we are constantly uh, pushing ourselves to find robust uh, solutions to real problems and I, I think that makes the difference. We are the ones who provide our leaders with an economic oriented lens to view issues affecting all Singaporeans and that is a huge responsibility. In the ES you're always working with policy makers who can actually make the decisions to change the lives of Singaporeans and you have at your disposal all the tools and data that you need to help you do a proper research. So if you're serious about economics research and about making an impact on policy, this is the place to be.